But the biggest thing is my dress is not white. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the wedding series. As you can tell from the title, in today's episode, it's all about dresses. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I said yes to the dress. I'm so, so excited. I am so in love with my pick. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the dresses that I tried on, but didn't pick. Brolin and I, I know this is super unconventional, but he went dress shopping with me. So as you know, we are new to Vegas and we don't have any family here and there's no one in the world that I trust more than him. He's my best friend and he would never lie to me and say something that looks good on me when it doesn't. So I definitely value his opinion. And I also shared some photos with my friends and family. So I'm just super happy that I finally got my dress. In this video, we'll show you all of the dresses that I tried on here in the Vegas area and talk about why I didn't say yes to those dresses. I'm so ready to get into it and I hope you enjoy! We are starting off at a very cute little boutique shop in downtown Las Vegas called The Story. They carry dresses between the $1,000 and $4,500 range, which is super affordable and they have a huge range of dresses. This was the very first dress that I tried on and honestly guys, we started off very strong. I love the silhouette. I love the off the shoulder. I love that the entire dress was so simple and made out of silk. I also really love that at the front of the dress, there was this really big slit. So there's a lot of leg action going on there, which I loved. And then she put the veil on me and I almost lost it. There wasn't really much that I didn't like about this dress, but obviously I didn't want to try on only one dress and I absolutely love this one. I couldn't commit just yet, but this was a very strong contender. On to dress number two. This one really wasn't my style, but it was super pretty. It was a light jersey material. It had a v-neck with a ruching in front, which is super pretty. It also had a really nice back lace detail and buttons going all the way down the train, which is super pretty. It just wasn't my style, so I didn't say yes to this one. Dress number three is super stunning, and this one is one that I actually almost said yes to because this dress was the most me. It was so flowy, so ethereal. I love the poofy sleeves if you know me i love a poofy sleeve and it was just so elegant and bridal looking there wasn't really much i didn't like about this dress but the reason why i ended up saying no to this dress is because i'm getting married on the beach in july and i just thought that this would be too much fabric on to dress number four this dress was gorgeous because it just snatched me in all of the right places this dress just fit me perfectly and she didn't even have to clip me in the back the only reason why i said no to this dress is because i did not like the neckline it felt very mother of the bridey and surprise surprise my mom was like oh this one is my favorite dress shocker i do love the simplicity of this dress it's just not my style and i can't imagine it on a beach on to dress number six. This was kind of a wild card because it was out of the style that I mentioned to her, but it was more of an A-line, strapless, giant slit in the front. I honestly really love this dress more than I anticipated. I love how much volume there was on the bottom and on the back. It's just, obviously I cannot wear this to the beach. I would be sweating, but if I was getting married in the city, I would definitely think this would be the dress. And those were all the dresses I tried on at the Story, so we made our way to Celebrations. It's a much bigger store, they had a larger range of dresses, and they had so many dresses in the silhouette that I like, so I was super excited about that. So dress number 7, which is the first dress I tried on at Celebrations. Guys, I almost, I was so so close to saying yes to this dress. I was so obsessed with the corset top and the low sweetheart neckline. I loved the pattern. I love that it cinched me in, in all of the right places. I love that it had a beautiful, beautiful long lace train. But the reason why I ended up saying no to this dress is because looking back on the photos and the videos, I'm super picky about what type of lace that I like on dresses. And the lace on the bottom half of this dress and the train just wasn't the lace that I liked. I liked more 3D applique and as a result, this just wasn't 
my style of lace and that's what made me say no. Dress number eight, again, this was more of a wild card because I never imagined myself wearing a ball gown, but I just wanted to get it out of my system. When I put it on, it was a hard pass. It was giving me Sweet 16, it was giving me Quinceanera, and this dress was just so overwhelming, so it was a hard no. Dress number nine was super beautiful. It was this beautiful blush mermaid dress with the most beautiful embroidery. I honestly loved the blush color on this dress. It also had the most beautiful beading and lace embroidery on the body, and you probably can't see this on camera, but in real life, this dress was physically sparkling and it was so, so beautiful. The two reasons why I said no to this dress is because it didn't have a sleeve detail. I wasn't a fan of just a strapless gown. And secondly, the silhouette, it was too mermaidy for me. I didn't like that it cut me off at the knees and just poofed out like a cupcake. It wasn't really the shape that I was going for, but nonetheless, I was obsessed with the detail and color on this dress so so beautiful and if it just had a different shape it would have been a top contender dress number 10 is one that i absolutely fell in love with and one that i again almost said yes to it had the most beautiful beading and embroidering just all over the dress i love the silhouette and i love the lace on this dress as you know i'm picky with lace but i actually love the lace on this dress and i also love that the train had a different shape it was slightly scalloped and i thought this dress just fit me so so well i was so obsessed with this dress but at the end the reason why i said no to this dress is because of how heavy it was with all of the embroidering and beading detail. The dress was super heavy and wearing it at the store, I actually already became sweaty. So I couldn't imagine wearing this dress in the heat in July on the beach. Next up, we have dress number 11. I actually don't even know why I came out in this dress because it just did not fit me at all, but I love the floral appliques and the lace and design on this dress. So if this dress came in the silhouette as the last one, I would have said yes to the dress. Dress number 12 is a dress that Aubrey, the sales consultant picked out. Again, this dress was stunning. She really understood that I loved embroidery. I loved detail. I loved the beading. And the only reason why I did not pick this dress, two reasons. Number one, again, this dress, the silhouette just cut me off at the knees and it poofed out. And secondly, as you can tell, I really like the back of the dress more than I did the front. So the back of the dress had the beautiful corset detail. It was a little see-through and the front was kind of just not as exciting. But with that said, this was a super stunning dress. It just wasn't for me. The last dress I tried on was a potential reception dress because I will be changing into a second dress, but I wasn't in love with it. I just love that the lace had some color in it, but it was just too poofy and it kind of made me look like I was 12 years old. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me try on all those dresses. I had such a fun time. And if you are an upcoming bride, you definitely have to do the dress try on experience. And even if I didn't have my family or friends there, it was still such an amazing experience and I would do it all over again if I could. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the dress that I picked as well without giving away too much. Um, obviously, it has the silhouette that I really love. It has the embroidery and detail that I love. But the biggest thing is my dress is not white. But when I say it's not white, like it's, it's not white, it's not cream, it's not ivory, it's not nude. Like I have jumped off of the bridal train and I'm very, I'm very much far away. And I'm kind of a non-traditional bride in that sense. And I know some of you are like, oh my God, it's the one time in your life you can wear a pretty white dress, but it's okay. Like I found a dress that I absolutely love. I feel so, so beautiful in. And the fact that it's not white, it doesn't really mean much to me. And I just, I think at the end of the day, if you feel beautiful and you're happy with your dress, that's all that really matters. And I know some of the traditional brides out there are screaming. But anyways, 
In conclusion, when you're wedding dress shopping, I know you'll feel a lot of pressure from your family and friends, but just make sure to bring a group of supportive people with you. And at the end of the day, if the dress makes you feel beautiful, that is the one that you should go with. And you don't have to listen to outside opinions if you don't want to, but I'm just gonna end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. You do you, baby. Do what you want. Do what's best for you.